Newcastle United see Harrison Ashby as understudy to Kieran Trippier. No surprise there, but there's news. So all round in the know and transfer guru, Dharma Chef of Sky Sports and sometimes Hammers Chat, may I add, he has tweeted that West Ham have just turned down a bid from Newcastle for Harrison Ashby. I guess no big secret there, but he said talks are ongoing and West Ham have let it be known that they are prepared to sell Ashby. No massive shock, is it, really? However, Ashby's contract is up at the end of this season. And it's, oh, I mean, it's just an open secret, isn't it, really, that Ashby wants to go to Newcastle. Newcastle want Ashby and him and Eddie Howe share the same agent. Very, very highly regarded, the player. And I think the fact that Newcastle want him it, it, it annoys me. You'll have to excuse me. I'm going to try and report it and then give you my opinion on it. So let me tell you what's happening first. So if he leaves at the end of the season on a free and joins Newcastle, then what happens in that eventuality is that Newcastle will have to pay us a fee set by a tribunal. I don't think anybody wants that to happen. Newcastle particularly don't want that to happen for the simple reason they would like the player now. They want him there now. They don't want to wait till the end of the season. Also, you don't know what the tribunal are going to award. So they want to try and give us a sum of money now. I guess from our standpoint, it's harder to understand because I don't understand why this is even happening, by the way. But from our standpoint, I guess we'd like to get some money in. Right, These tribunals can go on and drag on for ages and ages. So I can understand it. We want some money now. What I find weird about this whole situation is... The, I mean, Gio was reading out, yes, I wasn't reading out, he did a video the other day about Jed Spence. Jed Spence, you know, he was at Middlesbrough on loan last season from Middlesbrough. to Tottenham Forest, did very well, played so well in the championship. I think he was championship young player of the season, something like that. Uh, Tottenham signed him. Uh, Antonio Conte doesn't fancy him very much, doesn't play him. Tottenham have let it be known that, uh, that Jed Spence is available for loan. And when I looked at a lot of Jed Spence's qualities, a lot of them are shared by Harrison Ashby. Now, Harrison Ashby, I will either be proved right or wrong on this. I really will. It may be, If in three, four years' time, Harrison Ashby has done nothing in the game, feel free to come back to me, leave a comment on the video and say, Gonzo, you got this wrong. You got this wrong about this guy. He's nothing special at all. My suspicion is that I think he's going to go on. I'm not, going to, I'm not saying he's going to be a world beater, OK? But I think he's going to be a really good Premier League player. Lots of assists. I think we'll have some long-range goals. I think he uh, technically he's excellent. I think athletically he's really good. I was listening to Gio talk about Jed Spence. The more Gio spoke about Jed Spence, I thought, this sounds like Harrison Ashby. Why are we even doing this? I mean, Ashby's not 16. He's in his early 20s. Uh, he's ready to go now. And nothing I've seen when he's played for the first team has made me think otherwise. All this kid wanted was some first-team football and a pathway into the first team. And there we are again. It's doubly frustrating because as I record this video now, um, Sonny Perkins played for Leeds again today. So played his second senior game for Leeds. Already scored a goal for him. Uh, played well as well, apparently. I mean, it's, it's infuriating. And I'll go back to a saying that I've said over and over again. Under what circumstances do these players play? Elise has gone on to Sunderland. No, he's gone on to Sunderland. He's just got a man in a match. And one of the reporters who's gone there has actually said, from a big newspaper, Guardian, Times, something like that, he actually said in his report, I don't normally say this sort of thing, but this lad's going to the top. Talking about Elise. It's infuriating. And it really is. And I look at this situation with Harris and Ashby, I think, how on earth have we let us get to this? And I'd love the question to be asked of David Moyes in a press conference. And my question would be, well, concerning all the other players, but looking at Ashby, OK, good enough for Newcastle, good enough for Eddie Howe. Look at where they're going. Look at the calibre of players that they're, they're bringing in. I mean, they've not stopped even this, this current window. It's good enough for them, but supposedly not good enough for West Ham. What's he waiting for? How old do you have to be? I mean... How well do you have to perform? He, he performs very, very well. He's already a, a Scotland under-21 international. OK, look, I, I understand Scotland is not Argentina. right? I did, I did geography at school. You can tell. 
Oh, but I, I, I would imagine very soon after joining Newcastle, he'll play some games this season. He will feature in the Premier League this season. I'll tell you that. There's a prediction for you. And I'm pretty sure that that, um, that under-21 representation will turn into full international honours. They, they've got a decent fullback, Scotland, uh, to be fair. But I still think that's the case. I think he's a very, very talented player. And that's what I would ask David Moyes. Under, under what circumstances does he play? Why, if he's good enough for Newcastle, is he not good enough for us? It's it's incredibly frustrating, um, and particularly the position, the position right back and right wing back. Now, before I go any further, this video is sponsored one by the One Football app, which you can download by clicking the link underneath this screen. Now, the One Football app you can tailor it to your own specifications. It's a generic football app and it's free, but at the point where you download it, it asks you who you support and what competitions you're interested in. So, if you say I'm interested in West Ham and I'm interested in the England national team, then what it'll do? It'll search all the internet, it'll search all the newspapers, and cherry pick all the West Ham and England stories and chuck them. Well, chuck them, not literally. But it will deliver them to your phone so you don't have to go searching for these articles. It cuts out all the hassle. It's a wonderful app. If you're going to download it, and why not? If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it. Please do use the link below. I know you've come from Hammers Chat. Check it out. It's packed full of West Ham stories. Going back to the positional thing, David Moyes seems to be um, gravitating let's put it that way, towards playing three at the back, five at the back, call it what you will, three centre-halves. Whether you want to call that three, you call it five, doesn't really matter. OK, now the injury to Kurt Zuma, the loss of, of Craig Dawson, may have curtailed that slightly. That may have slowed that process down, but it appears that's how he wants to play. When he does that, he plays Emerson at left wing back, and that sort of makes sense. He's... He's the best suited to it, you know, because you need some attacking qualities when you play it. Got to be able to defend a bit, got to have a good, a good level of fitness to get up and down. You want to be quite pacey, you want to be technically good. They're important positions, wing backs. I would argue we don't actually have one at right back, by the way, I'm talking about here. Soufal, he's just not technically good enough. Soufal is far better at full back, at right back, than he is at right wing back. We have one in the squad, someone that's perfect. And of course, it's Harrison Ashby. Yet even though Moyes wants to persevere with this system, he won't play Harris Nashby. And if it was just Harris Nashby, if it was just him, I'll tell fair enough, maybe there's something wrong. Maybe there's maybe it's something not right. Maybe they had a falling out. Maybe it's something lad's character. But it's not, is it? The words of Sonny Perkins are ringing in my ears. I would like to stay at West Ham. I wish all the West Ham fans well, but I had to leave for the sake of my career. It wasn't about money. I had to leave for the sake of my career. Equa, I thought Equa was good. Whenever I've seen Equa play, every season, myself and Gio and Charlie, we, we have a chat about such things. And we ask each other, who's your player to break through this season? Who do you think can make it in the first team? My choice was Equa. Uh, well, not now. He's gone to Sunderland, like Elise. I thought Elise was great last season as well. Um, so if it was just... And Elise's comments were, uh, I need to go to a club where... Where I can get a chance, where I, can, where I feel like I'm, there's a pathway into the first team, where I feel like I can break into the first team. So, basically, it's not just Ashby, is it? It's everyone. It, nobody's got a chance. And I look and I think, well, under what circumstances there are none? What have these lads got to do? And with every single time something like this happens, David Moyes weakens the ability of the club to bring in talented youngsters. Because, well, look, whilst parents can't, won't talk to each other, you know, a talented youngster in the North East is not going to be talking to a parent of a talented youngster in London, no. But, very, very young, these kids get signed up by agents. And that's where the reputation lies. Because the agents, look, agents get a bad rep, right? But agents don't want to put their clients into um, an unadvantageous position. They don't. An agent wants to put his client at a club where he's going to be playing. And West Ham very quickly, well not very quickly, over a period of time, have got a reputation with agents. So if you were exactly that, if you were mentoring or if you were be an agent of a young lad and there you were going to approach a load of clubs, I would imagine West Ham wouldn't be one of them. If you were the agent, you would advise the parents. West Ham, no, D don't do it. Your, your child, your son is unlikely to get a chance in the first team be because there's just no pathway there. As I say, I may prove to be completely wrong on this. Maybe Harris Nashby does nothing in the game. Maybe Perkins does nothing. Maybe Elise does nothing. Maybe Equa does nothing. 
But if I was going to bet on one of them doing something, it would have been Harrison Ashby. Because I think he's incredibly impressive. I think he's a really, really good player. I can see it in my mind now. I can see the 25-yard, 30-yard screamer. I can see the... OK, he's not quite at a level with his delivery of Trent Alexander-Arnold, but those sort of balls, those sort of curled balls into the box, I can see them now. And, and it hurts, and it's damaging. It's damaging to the club recruitment process. It's damaging now. I wouldn't mind if Superman was brilliant on the right, been brilliant this season. He's been a bit better last few games. If Keira had been brilliant there, I wouldn't mind. But it's a problem position for us. Right back, right wing back is a problem. And what do you do when you have a problem in a position? You do one of two things. You either go and sign somebody, and David Moyes basically has to now. In this window, I just feel he has to. And let's be fair, there's not much time left. You either go and sign somebody, or you have a little look in your academy, and you think, okay, is there someone in the academy that can fill that position? And if you think there is, whether you think that Harrison Ashby can make it at a top level, he showed enough promise in the youth teams and enough promise in Europe and enough promise when he's represented West Ham in the first team to be given a chance. That's what you do. You give him two or three games. That's just how it works. Not drop him in at the deep end. Give him two or three games. I, I, made, I made this point the other day when I was talking with Gio about it. Pellegrini gave Ben Johnson his debut against Manchester City at left back. Manchester City. Stavon Bilic gave Reese Oxford. And if you forget that Reese Oxford hasn't done anything now, it's, it's not about what, what he's done. It's, it's about giving him the chance. Do you, may, you remember the old the memes and the gifts and everything about Reese Oxford having Mesut Ozil in his pocket? It's because Stavon Bilic gave Reese Oxford his debut against Arsenal. But you don't have to do that. I understand about not dropping him in against the very biggest teams. Give him a run of games. If we were doing brilliantly, fine. You can make that justification. Sorry, Harrison, I can't put you in a team with, with brilliant. OK, well, that was like that, you know. But actually, when we're crap, it's very hard to make a case and say to him, I'm sorry, I'm not going to put you in a team. I don't think you'll do any better than Tilo Kera. I don't think you'll do any better than Vladimir Soufal. And, and, and you're looking at somebody there in Soufal who was out his way, on his way out the door anyway. And I, I really do feel there was an opportunity there to keep this player. And it's not the first time it's happened. And because it, it keeps happening. And you know what they say? It's not the first time it's happened. So unfortunately, you've got to look at the situation with the West Ham's academy. You've got to think, not the last time it's going to happen either.